Who would have ever thought that this day would ever come? I got myself a PlayStation Vita, and I'm about to tell you guys why I bought myself a PlayStation Vita. And some couple of games I'm about to show you guys. And yeah. So, with just getting started, I would never thought that I would ever buy a PlayStation Vita. It's It kind of boggles me a little bit why I, I can't believe I got one. And yeah, so now when I got my PlayStation Vita, it wasn't like I bought it off a store, you know? It wasn't like one day out of the blue, like 12 o'clock in the morning that I just like woke up and just went to GameStop or whatever store that still sells a Vita these days and just like bought it to, and just spent $200 and just bought it right there. No, that's not what happened. Well, you see what happened was that I was in a chat room on PlayStation um, at nighttime with with one of my really good friends of mine and his young brother was in the chat room and you know we were all just chatting you know having a good time you know and I brought up this whole thing about like you know I wouldn't mind like having a PlayStation Vita try it out you know and you know start collecting for games for it because I know that the Vita was going to be one of those collecting games but my biggest grudge with the Vita was that I didn't want to spend two hundred dollars on this thing and because I'm really tight on money right now, and the fact that I don't want to buy one it just tells you. But however, the young brother, Aiden, or the young brother, he decided to sell me his Vita for $20. And when he told me that he was willing to sell me for $20, my mind just, I was, I was shocked. And I immediately said, like, what? And... And it's funny because uh, I think I could have gotten it for $10, the Vita. I could have gotten it for $10. And I think it's because, well, right after when I said what, um, I think he thought I took it like sort of like a negative way and said that m that might be too much money. And he was going to sell me for 10 I think. And, and after when he made that offer of 10 I quickly made like a joke saying like, well, I was going to buy it for 20 anyways, but if you're going to give me for 10 I would buy that too. And it's funny because after I said that, he he also immediately said like, no, 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 I'll, 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 I'll want the 20 then. <laughs> so I quickly took the offer that he was going to do. And the reason why he sold me the Vita was because he didn't really play his Vita that much. Or a matter of fact, he actually told me he has touched that thing like two, one year from now, I think, ago. And so he just really wants to get rid of it. And I scooped it up. And yes, of course, I have the box of the console. And the one of the interesting things that I found out about when I got my Vita was that... Um, what was that? What was it? Oh yeah, this was the first model. And at first I thought he got the slim model. I don't remember what was it called. Like, I just call this the first version. But this one is the heavy version and a good screen. But anyways, yeah, I got the first version and I was honestly surprised because for most people who has a Vita would tell you that this is the version you pretty much would want because it has a better looking screen, um, because it's like the colors brighten up more to you. And what was, there was another reason why this version was better. Uh, no, I think that was pretty much it. I think that it was the screen why people liked it. Uh, the, the the next version, the second version, the slim model, was better because it was a lot lighter. Um, some of the buttons were a lot better than the original. Uh, at least for like the start menu and the select menu and the power button. But anyways, some of you guys already might know this, but but yeah. So um, so what did the Vita come with? So when he bought when I bought the Vita, the only thing it came with was just the box and this. I had to buy myself some games. I had to uh, buy me a charger for the thing because he told me that his charger broke because his dog chewed on it, I guess. And and that was fine, you know. I had to buy me a, a new charger anyway, so. So that being said, I got some games for the Vita. I got four games and I'm gonna talk about them and give you guys my thoughts about the game so far. And just to let everybody know, all these games are exclusive to the Vita right now, so. Just saying. Well, except for one, I guess. 
So the first game that I bought for the PlayStation Vita was Uncharted The Golden Abyss. I am a huge Uncharted fan, and it would be a, a dishonor if I didn't buy this game day one. And just like what everybody says about this game, it plays like a full-out Uncharted game. And this is the only game out of the four that I've beaten, and I, I love this game, dude. As a matter of fact, I go as far as to say I like it more than the fourth one, the, the last Uncharted game that... That should be called, uh, I don't know, like, this is, it's cr it, it crazy, like, this game shows, like, how strong the console is, and, like, I am honestly surprised how good this game looks. And because it was a launch title, they used some of the D-pads, uh, touchscreen, stuff like that. Um, it was, some of it was cool, some of it was just kind of stupid of me, but, yes, really good game for the Vita. And my second game that I got was Tales of Hearts. This was, according to somebody on YouTube, it was like a GameStop exclusive game. And it won this from a, for like a contest, I guess. To like which game should be localized. And this was the answer to the call. And this game is really, really good. I only played eight hours of this game. I haven't beaten it yet. Nowhere near to beating this game. And at first I thought this was going to be a really hard game to get to. Because I don't play art JRPGs. I'm still very new to it because I'm because I'm getting close to being Persona 5. But so far this game is very easy to get into and I'm loving this game. I like the like the female chick Ohaku. Really like her. And yeah, um so far I like this game. Only 8 hours into the game at this point. And so the next game that I bought recently was um Yomhawari. I oh, I should have looked up on line to know what the name of this game is but before i did this video but this game comes with two games it includes a game called h lot hashtag niq the firefly diary i have not played that yet but this game in particular i'm playing this right now i haven't made it this far to it but i'm on chapter three and it's a little indie horror game and i always wanted to play like a 2d um, top screen horror game and I always wanted one and this was the answer to that and so far from my knowledge for horror games on the Vita there's not a whole lot of it and there's from what I've seen they're not they do not impress me unless it's corpse party but this game is the only horror game that I've seen that it really is interesting and probably worth to buy this one I really like so far first impressions of this game is really good i the only thing i don't like about this game is that it is a trial and error game you're gonna die a lot at least for your first time and that does bother me a bit because that kind of ruins the whole like scary aspect of a horror game because to my personal opinion the whole point of a horror game is to be scared run away and try not to die but this game beats that kind of logic of like you're gonna die a lot but with creepy enemies. I don't know. It's just a little minor issue that my personal take on it, but I really like this game. Um, and the final game that I literally just got this game, like, I think yesterday, was Gravity Rush. This was an exclusive game to the Vita. Um, anybody would know that this came out on PlayStation 4 as a remastered. Um, this was a game I've been looking at for some time, ever since Gravity Rush 2 came out. I always wanted to get the first one for the PS4 because at the time I didn't have a Vita. And when I and it's crazy because ever since Gravity Rush 2 came out, the price for the um Gravity Rush 4 remastered for the PS4 raised up in price. It was like I remember some people were trying to sell it for like $100 and apparently the reason why was because it was like an Amazon exclusive game and only like limits of copies were made for it. And because of that, it raises prices to like 50 to $60 for Gravity Rush. And it is ridiculous how expensive it is. And I wasn't going to go as far to pay that much for a game that I didn't don't know if I was going to really like at all. Because on one hand, it didn't look that interesting, but at the same time it did. But thankfully, on the PlayStation Vita right now, it's a lot cheaper. It's like same price as should have been it's thirty dollars right now on the vita and plus uh some people even go as far to say that this is the version that you do want to get 
because it's where the game all started and some people think that this is where it should have been and some people even want gravity rush 2 on the the to veto but it never happened but anyways long story short the um, Gra um, gravity rush is a really good game first impressions i haven't made super far in that game either um but first impressions are really high on that game i love it but that being said that is my vita collection for the time being i do have um two download games on here um i have resident evil 2 nemesis uh resident evil 2 nemesis uh, resident evil 2 and resident evil 3 nemesis that's what i have on my vita and played resident evil 2 on the game on the vita and i am honestly am impressed by the game so that being said yes i'm in love with this vita um i guess i could talk about some of the things i don't like about the vita um the only biggest ripe i have with the vita is the the battery life on this thing it's not really long it's depending on i think how what type of game you're playing it is so if it's like a full-fledged like 3d game like like maybe like Gravity Rush or Uncharted, I feel like the battery life is a lot shorter, like less than four hours, I feel like. But if it's like, if you're playing like a PlayStation 1 game on here, or maybe like that 2D game I was playing, the the horror game, the battery life does last longer, I feel like. I don't know, I don't quote me on that, but I don't know much about it. And plus, I'm, and secondly, this is a minor issue, but I don't really like these buttons too much. Because you really have to like dig your thumb in there, your nail, whatever. And apparently on the second model, they do fix that. So it's a lot easier to press these. But on the first model, they don't do that. And what else do I think? No, that's pretty much it. Um, everything else is minor. Um, the condition of this Vita is really, really good. Um, they do. There is some minor scratches. I don't know if you guys can tell though. But there is like a dent right there on... No, you can't really tell. Well, there you go. And because and that does kind of bother me a little bit, but but I guess for like twenty dollars you can't really complain. But that being said, though, yes, this is my whole Vita collection, and I really love my Vita so far. You know, um, anybody who knows about the Vita, you don't need to hear me say it, but at least I hope this is not your first time learning about the Vita. Because I'm not trying to explain everything about this thing. But I'm telling you right now, I'm in love with this Vita. And I do plan on buying more games for this Vita. As a matter of fact, there is going to be a gap of a year for gaming for PS4. Like, there's not, like, not until, like, the end of this year, like, November time. So, I might just take a break from consoles and play my Vita for the time being. As a matter of fact, after this video, I might be playing my Vita. So, when you're watching this video, I might be playing my Vita at that time. So I think that is it. I think that's all I got to say. Um, first impressions on my Vita. I really liked it. I'm very impressed by the console. Um, yeah, that's all I think I have to say about it. So that being said, sorry if I've been stuttering this video. I'm trying to get this video out there because I know I haven't been making videos for a while now. And I'm kind of a bit stutter from... It's been some time since I've been in front of camera. And plus this is like one take too. So, so that being said, have a good one guys. And I hope you guys buy a Vita 2 yourself maybe one day.